A terrorist attack in France, the death of an Islamic State leader, and corruption in Japan. These and other highlights of the current week. Watch now in our World Events Digest. The new terrorist attack occurred in the suburbs of Paris. The incident took place near the house of the law enforcement officer. Terrorists ran with a knife on the 42-year-old officer who was coming back home, being dressed in civilian clothes. The man died on the spot because of stab wounds. Then the intruder broke into the house and seized the officer's wife and his three-year-old son as the hostages. As the negotiations were unsuccessful, commanders were ought to storm the building. Terrorist was killed. Officer's wife was found dead. The child did not suffer. Negotiating with the police, the terrorists warned their allegiance to ISIS. Later, Islamic State confirmed their responsibility for this crime. The attacker, 25-year-old, was sentenced in France to three-year prison in 2013. Together with associates, LaRousse recruited militants in order to send them to Pakistan in Islamist training camps. Three more suspects have been caught by police after the incident. According to the police, they are in contact with the terrorist, LaRousse Abala. In his house, police found a list of possible future victims. ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi died of wounds in Syria. He was injured during the air strikes on suburbs of Raqqa. There is no information about where was killed the terrorist leader. There are several possible places, the city of Raqqa, in Mosul, or on the way to Karbal, where the meeting of ISIS leader was going to be held. The information agency Amak, which is believed to be the closest to the terrorists, announced the death of al-Baghdadi. But, to tell the truth, the rumors about his death have appeared several times before. Al declared himself as caliph in 2014. Then ISIS captured large areas of Iraq and Syria. Mayor of Tokyo has resigned after allegation of civic peculation. Local media reported that Yoichi Masuzo used uh, the official car for his weekly travel to his country cottage and to travel with his family on the coast of political funds. His official visits abroad within last two years came in at $2 million. Masuzo promised to refund all the money that he received while being a mayor. Musicians from Led Zeppelin appeared in a court after accusations in plagiarism. The fragment of the famous uh, 1971 song Stairway to Heaven was lifted from Spirit, whose son Taurus appeared three years before. The author of Taurus, Spirit's guitarist Randy Wolf, died in 1997, but a lawsuit was filed by his trustee. The defendants are the vocalists Robert Plant and the guitarist Jimmy Page. five years of forced expulsion. Citizens of Japanese village of Katsurao come back home after the earthquake and Fukushima 1 nuclear disaster in 2011. Before the disaster, there were almost 1,050 inhabitants. But according to the last year's way, only the half of the population is ready to come back. The other got used to their new places of living, shopping malls, hospitals and other comforts of home. All of above-mentioned amenities are in decline after the disaster. Local authorities promised to provide free free taxi service for the aged in order to give them possibility to get to the hospital or shopping center outside the settlement. A special delivery services of fresh food and living essentials already operates. Living status have flooded the city of Eslinho in northern Portugal. Now the 20th International Festival of Living Status is held here. 34 participants from different European countries went there to take part in the festival. Some actors are so convincing that it's hard to distinguish them from real monuments. People who decided to become living status said that it is not an easy walk. One should not only be self-restrained, but also be well-trained enough and be a genius for acting. Every year thousands of people come to see the living status. They say they are impressed by mastery of actors. This is also a good possibility for living status to promote their abilities. This year, Romeo and Juliet were recognized as the best one.